Bolinas Bay and Stinson Beach have some tasty waves and pretty cool rocks. Here's a virtual tour of the region's geology. Okay, so we're at Agate Beach, and behind me are rocks of these Santa Cruz mudstones, uh, which for people for a long time thought was very similar to the Monterey Formation. It's a little bit younger, so it dates to the late Miocene, about 10 to 5 million years ago. And these rocks are um, salacious, sal not salacious, because that would be, they're silicious mudstones, which means that they have a, a fair amount of silica, or the same stuff that ultimately mineralizes into quartz. And so that silica does two things for it. One is it makes it brittle. And so if you look here, you'll notice that it comes off in these kind of sharp fragments and that's due to its relatively moderate silica content. The other thing that does for it is it makes it relatively um, strong and at least stronger than any other mudstone would be. And that creates these, these large cliffs that we have here. Now these cliffs are dipping, which means that they're originally flat, but due to tectonic forces and activity, uh, they have been dipped uh, at an angle. And so they've been basically lifted up and tilted to, I don't know, perhaps like a 45 degree angle, pretty um, steep dip around here. And the, uh, the layers that have perhaps more silica in them uh, are, are stronger. And as we look out into the ocean, you'll see that there are uh, beds that are more resistant than others. And they make this kind of feature on the land that looks like hurdles. So if you've uh, been through California beaches, you'll notice sometimes these beaches have these weird, uh, kind of steps of rock in the beach. That's due to this, there's stronger layers than others. And that's what we have here at Agate Beach. So we've moved over from Agate Beach to Bolinas Beach. And we crossed over a fault on the way over here, the San Gregorio Fault. Now most people know about the San Andreas Fault, but it's actually part of a much larger fault system which includes several very similar faults that all move parallel to it, including the San Gregorio. And what that has done is brought a different rock type to this area, uh, specifically the Merced Formation. And what we're seeing are sandstones of the Merced Formation. Now these rocks are a lot uh, younger than what we saw before. They formed at the end of the Pliocene, the beginning of the Pliocene, maybe about a little over two million years ago. Now these rocks formed in what was once a shallow bay, but what are they doing here because they're named after Lake Merced, which is in southwestern San Francisco, just outside of SF State. So what happened was there was a bay um, where these uh, sands were deposited. And starting about two million years ago, that bay got split in half by the San Andreas. And it brought one side of it all the way up here. It took about two million years to cross about 20 miles. But that's what we have here. And you can find the exact same rock in San Francisco today. So across from us here is Stinson Beach. And Stinson Beach is formed on a long sand spit. So how this formed is that waves come in here and they refract off of the point of Bolinas. And so they come into this bay at an angle. And what that does is as the water comes around here, it kind of forces the water as it gets towards the coast. Um, it squishes it together and has nowhere else to go except uh, laterally to the shore and that's called longshore drift. And so what happens is this longshore drift is going up the Northern California coast and it hits this area where we have a bay, it changes direction and it loses steam a little bit. It starts to uh, become less fast and it drops the sediment it's carrying, which is mostly sand. And so eventually some sand drops and then some more sand drops and over time, you have this huge sand spit developed and that's what Stinson Beach is. Now often behind a sand spit, you get a lagoon that forms. And so we have this uh, Bolinas Lagoon right behind it. And both of these features are relatively young. They filmed no more than 8,000 years ago. And the reason that is, is because uh, until very recently, um, uh, basically in the, the ice ages, the world's water levels were way lower. The ocean surface was far down, but um, things warmed up uh, and this area basically flooded. 
You'll also notice that the valley behind Bellinas and Stinson Beach is really straight. That's because it's smack dab in the middle of the San Andreas Fault, giving the lagoon and valley a linear appearance. This also creates a visual representation of the boundary between the San Andreas's two different plates, the Pacific Plate on the left and the North American Plate on the right. So you can go to the beach here and in one day be on two completely different tectonic plates. We encountered a problem at this stop because everywhere I wanted a shot was covered in fog. But that's the Bay Area for ya. So we'll turn to Google Earth instead. Highway 1 has many landslides, and the stretch to Stinson Beach is no exception. Unsurprisingly, the largest slide here is at Slide Ranch. This slide shows the characteristic parts of a landslide pretty well. The steep area where the landslide was once attached is called the scarp. Its top is the head, main mass is the body, and end is the toe. In coastal areas, there's nothing to buttress the slide, and the toe gets constantly eroded by wave action. The result is continually moving slides that cost California millions of dollars in road repair and maintenance each year. So moving on, here's a slide here. Continuing over, look at this big boy. It's got a lot of construction on him. And finally, yeah, we've got a little narrow slide there, and then we've got a real big mess here. I'm just going to zoom in to, oh man, yeah, lots of problems. So to summarize, the Stinson Beach in Bolinas area is beset by faults and landslides, but it's worth it because it's really darn pretty. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Poopy Archaeology for more videos about the past. You're a good geology dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good geology dog.